Okay, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can change the default library location in R. Okay, so let's first start our R studio. Um, now, let's just check our current location of the library. Uh, we can do that by typing lib path. Okay, so as you can see, in my case, I have two locations, and the default is the first one. Um, but I want to switch it to the C program file library of R, and I want to make it permanent. That means whenever I start the uh, R program, it will automatically uh, log into this library location. Okay, so next. We just need to get into the the C uh, program folder, and then we will look for the uh, the R installation folder. Okay, and now you want to locate the etc folder, and then the R profile site. Okay. Okay, now we have get into the uh, uh, profile site. What we can do right now is to create a function um, that will make the R to just log into the location library that we want. Okay, um, this file is the first file that R will read whenever it starts the program. So that's the file that we need to insert our function. So we can do the, we can do that by create a function called first, and then function. Okay. Um, we can use the R function called lib path to to get the program to to get into the location folder that we want. So it depends on what on the place that you want to um, to use at your library folder. But in my case, I'm going to choose. Um, the R library that installed right here. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna set the default library location for my R program. Just copy it and pass it in here. Uh, right now, what is even more important, and you must not forget, is to change the slash here to this dash. Okay, this dash. Because if you don't do this, it will not work. Um, the function here can only read this kind of dash okay after we have this um, but we just save it close it now we should close our R studio and then we open it to see if it work okay R. all right um, okay now let's check. We can check our current default by typing clip pad. Here we can see that the program is set to the, the default um, folder that we we created in the function. So that's it. Now we can you can just start working as normal. Thank you for your watching. Hope this helped.